Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon, on the breast of the new-fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew back my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work. He filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and lay in his finger a sign of his nose and gave it a nod. Up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas! Uh, Merry Christmas, Aki! Merry Christmas! I'm so excited! I've never been on TV before! <laughs> so excited! So excited! Go ahead and say what you're supposed to say! Okay, okay. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! From the lot! Did yeah. I do it right? Did I do it right? Merry Christmas! What are these guys doing? Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Zach from Lot 2540 wishing you a Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Debbie. Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Sly. Merry Christmas. 
This is Elizabeth from all of us here. Merry Christmas. Hi, Denise here. Just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. See you soon. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. Good morning, everybody. This is Leanna from Lot 2540. Wishing all of you a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope Santa is good to you. But remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Have a happy Christmas.